Hey everybody, Cordell Green here at Diamond Train. So we're gonna talk about is a good starting position for a picture. So a good starting position for a picture is an athletic stance. So as you can see, my feet are about shoulder width. Now what most kids do is they like to start their feet close. You gotta tell them that's not athletic, which is pretty obvious. Now if they don't know what an athletic position is, you tell them to get their feet shoulder width, maybe a little bit farther. So they're in a strong looking stance. Now, what they're gonna do from here, they're gonna point their feet at the catcher. They're gonna make sure that their elbows are by their ribs. So as you can see, if I was turning aside, my elbows are by my ribs. And I'm gonna make sure that my hands, specifically my glove and my throwing hand, are in front of my chest, are about that pec height. So now, specifically as well, they're gonna be about eight to 10 inches away from my chest. This is in a relaxed position. What a lot of kids do is they bring them, they bring up their elbows, when you tell them to get their hands up to chest height, they need to have their elbows by the ribs and their hands usually like to get close. So they end up having short arm circles. So make sure you get their hands away so they can have longer arm circles naturally. Now, as you can see, I'm in a good starting position. This is what most kids need to be taught because most of them are tense or they're awkward when they pitch for the first time. So if you wanna get a kid in a good starting position, feet athletic, elbows by your ribs, hands eight to ten inches away from your chest at chest height and that's how you do it thanks guys i appreciate it please subscribe diamond training out